Not too long ago, uh, your employee count dropped significantly because you took uh, a lot of Viviki employees and put them into the operating agencies. So Viviki 2.0. And um, I, I think we, you know, there were obviously signs of that uh, as soon as you signed up for the job. Um, because people don't like me, or <laughs> <laughs> because that's the way things were going. And um, you know, tell everybody why that's good. I mean, I think a lot of the trade press headlines really got it wrong. Yeah, I, thank you for asking that question. So the employee basis. Uh, did not go down, it actually went up. Uh, the question is just how you look at it. And, and what we've done here is, and I'm seeing, where is he, Mac Delaney, he's over there. Uh, and, and you can ask him after our session. Uh, Mac used to be in Viviki. He's now at SMG and, and, and driving the whole programmatic business exactly. there. So we believe, and, and this is, you know, as a, it's not a response, we're actually earlier than, than all these RFIs, we believe that everything about automation, data, programmatic needs to reside in the agencies and needs to be inherent. It, it is the, the paradigm the new bu business model needs to build, be built on. And so what we said is it makes no sense to, to keep, and, I, and you might have a different, I heard you saying you have a different opinion, by the way, and I was a little bit pissed off, but anyway. <laughs> but, but you can have your opinion, of course. So, but, but but basically we said we need, if we want to scale this capability, this intelligence across the agencies and integrate it into the service, we need to push certain capabilities into the agency. So what we've done is to, is to build a, a, a layer of, of analytics, campaign, buying, etc., cetera, uh, management people into the agencies, all of them across the whole group globally. And, and remaining at the center, basically the core, that is all about synchronization of, of, of data, the technologies, the partnerships, the training, the education, et cetera, et cetera. So it's quite a new model and ultimately, you know, from, from what I can tell and always have to be very humble in these things, uh, the, the performance we're driving with this in terms of the results for clients and how clients are perceiving this in terms of an enhancement of what the agency is offering to them, is very, very positive and, and a kind of a proof of concept, if you will. Yeah. Uh, Arun, compared to a year ago, what's, you know, what's different and uh, what, are, what are the clients asking for? So I think, first of all, um, what clients are asking for is greater visibility into programmatic strategies. They want to understand how it plays into what they're doing. They also want a data strategy that is integrated across everything that the agency does. So. They're not looking for one data strategy that comes from a trading desk and something else that comes from a media agency and from diverse media partners. So one of the things that we've done is looked at how can we transform ourselves from being a trading desk into being an incubator for ad tech and develop platforms that allow our agency partners to access that intelligence. So for instance, why should audience insights sit only with the buyers as it used to about a year or a couple of years ago? Why can it not be made available to comm strategists who should be building audience segments of the data se sets that are available? So that can be that is what we've ha what we've been changing over the past year or so, making sure that our agency partners understand how to leverage that uh, data and how do they use it, and getting greater synchronization between planning and buying, because. Till about a year ago, it was really buying leading uh, strategy because they had access to all the intelligence. So when you democratize that, then you have the opportunity for the media agencies to actually play a more strategic role. And you then focus on, um, on making sure that the platforms work best.